Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. Uh, this is kind of a weird story because it's not really about Nintendo, but it is about something that Nintendo might be involved in. So we know Summer Game Fest is happening June 9th uh, in the early afternoon. They're, they got a day of developers plus the big kickoff event. And yes, we have our own event built around it called Prime Gaming Fest happening June 9th at 9 a.m., lasting until June 14th. These are going to be 12-hour plus day live streams full of a bunch of events, giveaways, uh, reacting to game reveals, um, you know, we're going to have gaming tournaments and a whole bunch of stuff. It, it, everything is still being planned right now. So, uh, I'm, I'm still really excited to get into it, but there's a lot of things that aren't announced for this time period yet. Now we know Microsoft and Bethesda are going on June 12th. We know the Tribeca festival is on June 9th. We don't know yet what's happening on Saturday. I think the PC gaming show and future game show is also happening on June 12th. But what's interesting in thinking about all of that stuff is there's a bunch of partners for Summer Game Fest uh, that we don't know if they're going to do events. Is there going to be an Ubisoft Forward this year? Is there going to be a Square Enix event? We don't know. I, I think Ubisoft is... I, I don't think they're going to do their own event this year. But what about Sony? So Microsoft has their own event. We know that Nintendo typically has directs in June, and we're guessing sometime before the last week of June there'll be a direct, but we have, we have no idea. But what about Sony? What about a new state of play or a similar type event? Well, we have our first rumor around such an event coming from YouTuber MBG. Uh, MBG has uh, a, a bit of an interesting track record in reporting on rumors, sometimes right, sometimes wrong. Um, and he put out a video today saying, My source confirms a PlayStation event for June. There are first party assets ready to show, and supposedly comes from an email from Jim Ryan. Now, uh, he doesn't show the email on screen or anything, so I got nothing to tell you. He just goes uh, in length to talk about his source and how he came about this information. And that that that's cool. So we're calling this a rumor because I've literally never reported on this person. And you guys know when it comes to rumors, I'm typically covering Nintendo stuff. I don't have a lot of verification at the moment for MBG. But what's working in his favor for PlayStation to have something going on is that Sony did partner with Summer Game Fest. Now, Sony could just have a game or something to show at the big uh, Summer Game Fest reveal event. And that could be the extent of the partnership. Uh, but maybe it goes beyond that like Xbox and Bethesda doing an event, because uh, Xbox is also a partner with Summer Game Fest, and Sony's going to do their own event. I guess we'll see. His He's basically saying it's either going to happen the first or second week of June. Well, you start getting to the second week of June, that's when you start getting to that June 9th to the 14th time period that we're doing Prime Gaming Fest. So it would be really cool for us anyways if Sony did something during that event, especially since E3 was unable to get Xbox and Sony to do something together. Jeff Keighley's a different beast. Jeff Keighley seems to be on the good side of every game company out there. And so if he could get Sony to commit to an event during that time period, he would. So uh, I, I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, but I, I wanted to talk about this because I think Sony's in a very interesting position. Obviously, their chief concern at the moment is making sure that they secure enough manufacturing lines to get PlayStation 5s on store shelves. Uh, they've really struggled over a year. It, guys, it's been over a year. In fact, a year and a half PlayStation 5 has been on the market, and we still cannot walk into stores and buy one. We just can't. It just doesn't happen. I do know some of you are going to argue, but I, I, I've seen them on store shelves. I, I, I saw one. You're right. They are shipping them to store shelves. They're no longer keeping them as online exclusive orders, but they don't last past the day they arrive, right? People are waiting in lines at retail outlets the day the shipments are supposed to arrive, only for them to sell out immediately. They cannot get these things to be in stock, no matter what they do. And this isn't all on them. We all know about the manufacturing issues that the pandemic caused, some of the factory shutdowns, the silicon shortages. We know. And we know there's new factories opening in 2023 and I think 2025 at the two major silicon uh, companies that are going to end up alleviating a lot of these issues, not just, by the way, for game console manufacturers, but also for the entire industry. Everything runs on some sort of computer chip. So, yeah, they're going to need something to be done. So that's good eventually. But that's the chief concern for Sony. But the secondary concern, and this is a concern for all platform makers, are the games, right? Uh, I would say 
Xbox and Sony have sort of stumbled out of the blocks with games. Now, Sony typically stumbles out of the blocks. Uh, I'm not saying they didn't have anything, right? We have Miles Morales uh, at launch. Uh, they had that new uh, Ratchet & Clank game last year. They also had Returnal. So they actually had a, a decent slate of games. They didn't have anything major for the holidays last year, but they had a decent slate of games, and it looks like they might have a decent slate of games for the second half of the year. This year, we also know Xbox really stumbled out of the gates as well, not really having anything at launch, having Halo Infinite last holiday. Uh, and, you know, I think the medium was like, I guess, one of their games last year that they had for a little bit of a timed exclusive. Uh, and, you know, now this year, we know obviously two major projects of theirs have been delayed. Uh, no surprise, COVID's delaying everything. So what's interesting is obviously Microsoft and Bethesda really need a press conference this summer to, one, clarify what's happening with those games that were delayed, and two, Talk about what the hell we're getting this year, brand new, to, that's exclusive to those platforms to play. So, yeah, Xbox has, has promised us an event that's at least going to give us an idea of what to look forward to. Sony, on the other hand, we have a lot of games announced. A lot of games that are announced, but very few actual dates. So, it does feel like we need a Sony event this summer, doesn't it? I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm crazy here. But while they're focused on manufacturing and trying to get as many PlayStation 5s out the door as they can because they're selling out before they're even made, what about the games? And at some point, we have to turn our focus to the games. The focus has been on PlayStation 5 stock for so long. YouTube channels, my good buddy Jake Randall, making a living off of trying to get PlayStation 5s into people's hands. At some point, we have to talk about the games. Now, you notice I'm not bringing up Nintendo. We know Nintendo has a strong lineup this year, right? Other years, they haven't. This year, they have a strong lineup. So I'm not as concerned about them, even though I'm pretty sure they will do a Nintendo Direct anyways. It's Sony that I think needs an event. So I, I kind of covered this rumor because I think Sony needs to do it. I think they need something this summer. It doesn't have to be June, by the way. It could be July. But they need something. They need a new state of play. They need their version of Nintendo's Direct. Their big E3 press conference, they need it because they need to let people know what the hell is coming. How long are these cross-gen games going to last? How long are you going to keep releasing games on PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 simultaneously? I assume until stock is on store shelves. I think that would be a reasonable plan, but how long? I don't know. There's a lot of questions that need to be answered. So this isn't shade on Sony. I think it, they're just due. They're due you know, I know we got the whole PlayStation Plus update stuff, but what about the new games? They're due for something. So June makes a lot of sense. So regardless of MBG's rumor, I always thought there was probably something happening in June anyways for Sony. Uh, and if it happens around the same time as everybody else, sweet. Jeff Keighley would have successfully convinced Microsoft and Sony to go around the same time. So that's, that's really cool. So I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, and if MBG is right on this, cool. We'll pay a bit more attention to his rumors uh, in the future. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rumpeljance from Nintendo Prime. No Prime news today, everybody. Uh, it got canceled because of, my kids had a concert today, a spring concert. So it just wasn't going to happen. But I will be back tonight live on camera, uh, live reacting to 505 Games. So uh, they have a showcase tonight at 8 p.m. You know we'll be there. So uh, catch you guys then. Bye!